I am Santosh Gayankar. Today I am teaching you mechanics of material in that one torsion. This is the problem. A hollow shaft having internal diameter 40% of external diameter. Internal diameter is the argument unit. Data. Internal diameter DI is 40% of external diameter. In terms of fraction it becomes 0 0.4 D0. D0. 40 divided by 100 you have to do then it uh, value will be 0 0.4 d naught the transmit phi 62.5 kilowatt p is given phi 62.5 kilowatt has to be converted in terms of watt phi 62.5 watt the power at 100 rpm n is equal to 100 rpm Determine the internal external di and d naught value of the shaft if the shear stress is not to exceed 60 newton per mm square. Tau is equal to 60 newton per mm square. And the twist in a length is 2.5 meter. Length is given 2.5 meter multiplied by 1000. 2.5 into 1000 it will be 2500 mm should not exceed 1.5 degree degree is given theta 1. Point, uh, not 1.5 it is 1.3 degree convert into in terms of radian that is pi by 180 you have to multiply it get convert in terms of radian radian the maximum torque being 25% greater than the mean torque. The condition is given. T max is 25% greater. That means 100 plus 25 divided by 100 you have to do it. It will be 1.25. 1.25 T mean. The modulus of rigidity is G value is given 9 into 10 raised to 4 newton per mm square mm square here you have to find out internal and external diameter again the diameter comes in picture therefore you have to go for combination of shear and combination of torque with respect to uh, combination of shear and combination of angle of twist with respect to torque you have to go for it now first I am going to find out the T mean, this is the formula in order to find out the T mean because the power is given here. P is equal to 2 pi n T mean divided by 60,000. Power we know phi 62.5 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 3 because it is a kilowatt is equal to 2 pi n value is 100 into t mean divided by 60,000 60,000 cross multiply you will obtain t mean is equal to 53.5 Seven one into ten raised to six newton mm, and substitute this T mean in the T max. You will get T max is equal to one point two five into fifty three point seven one into ten raised to six. The answer is sixty seven point one three into ten raised to six newton mm. Now, based on the shear, based on shear stress, the formula, this is the formula I am going to use, but I will use the combination here. Now, this T becomes what? T max here. T max is equal to JP tau divided by R. Now, JP, because it is a hollow shaft, 
जेपी इज इक्वल टू पाई डिवाइड बाय थर्टी टू डी नॉट रेस टू फोर माइनस डी आई रेस टू फोर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर हॉलो शाफ्ट पोलर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया पोलर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया वेर आर इज नथिंग बट डी नॉट बाई टू वेर आर इज नथिंग बट डी नॉट बाई टू दैट इज आउटर डायमीटर इन केस ऑफ सॉलिड शाफ्ट इट विल बी डी बाई टू बट इन द केस ऑफ हॉलो शाफ्ट इट बिकम्स डी नॉट बाई टू नो सब्सिट्यूट हियर द वैल्यूज टी मैक्स दिस इज द टी मैक्स वैल्यू सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट वन थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स डिवाइड बाय पाई बाय थर्टी टू नाउ देर इज अ कंडीशन इज गिवन इन प्लेस ऑफ डी आई यू हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट डी जीरो पॉइंट फोर इंटू डी नॉट डी नॉट रेस टू फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर डी नॉट रेस टू फोर टाउ टाउ वैल्यू सिक्सटी वट इज आर डी नॉट बाई टू डी नॉट बाई टू वे डी नॉट बाई टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डी नॉट डी नॉट इंडिकेट आउट डायमेंट ना क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस पार्ट सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट वन थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डी नॉट इन टू पाई डिवाइड बाई थर्टी टू डी नॉट रेस टू फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर डी नॉट रेस टू फोर क्लोज द ब्रैकेट इफ अनोन इज रिपीटिंग देन यू हैव टू ब्रिंग द दिस साइड देन यू विल गेट द आंसर करेक्टली सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट वन थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू अल्फा एक्स इंटू शिफ्ट पाई डिवाइड बाई थर्टी टू इंटू अल्फा एक्स रेस टू फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर इंटू अल्फा एक्स रेस टू फोर शिफ्ट सॉल्व इज इक्वल टू Shift sol is equal to. The answer is D not one eighty point one six mm. After getting D not, substitute here. You will get DI value. DI is equal to zero point four D not zero point four into one eighty point one six. The answer is seventy-two point zero six mm. This is the internal diameter. This is the external diameter based upon the shear. Let us find based upon the twist. Based on the twist, that is based on the theta. Now torque with respect to theta, you have to go for it. The formula is this is the formula now first and third one. T max is equal to J P into G theta divided by L. T max sixty seven point one three into ten raised to six. J P this is the formula pi by thirty two d naught raised to four condition is. Zero point four di raised to four is equal to g value is nine into ten raised to four theta theta is one point three into pi by one eighty divided by length is two phi double zero two phi double zero cross multiply in order to get because the unknown is repeating here. Sixty-seven point one three into ten raised to six, and nine into ten raised to four, into one point three into pi by one eighty, two phi double zero, into pi by thirty two, d raised to four minus zero point four di 
हाँ नो इट शुड बी नॉट डी इट शुड बी डी नॉट ओके डी नॉट रेस टू फोर रेस टू फोर नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैलकुलेटर सॉल्व एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट वन थ्री इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स शिफ्ट अल्फा इज इक्वल टू नाइन इंटू टेन रेस टू फोर into 1.3 into shift pi divided by 180 2500 into shift pi divided by 32 into alpha x raised to 4 minus 0.4 into alpha x raised to 4 close the bracket Shift solve is equal to. Now D not answer will be one seventy one point two zero. Now we have to find out D I. D I is nothing but zero point four D not. One seventy one point two zero into zero point four. The answer is. Sixty-eight point four eight mm. Now, among the diameter is concerned, you have to select the larger diameter. Based upon the twist, the diameter of internal external is smaller compared to the based upon the shear. Therefore, larger diameter has to be selected. This is the larger diameter you have to select. I am Santosh Gaidankar. Thank you very much.